Right, uh, this video is about drug legalisation or um, things along or drug decriminalisation of the end user. Uh, I've been posted this question by a very good friend of mine. Uh, she is a cannabis user. Uh, and uh, should we just legalise cannabis or, or decriminalise the user or all drugs? Uh, there are pros and cons of this. Uh, the pros are you get tax revenue, uh, you reduce the prison population, you, reduce, you actually save a lot of police time. Um, to be folks elsewhere. Uh, other countries have gone down this route, like Portugal and Uruguay, Holland, at various levels. Now, Portugal, it seems to work with decriminalising the user, drug-related deaths, admissions to hospital, and arrests have gone down 70%. Uh, in Uruguay, they've legalised, which basically means they get tax revenue. Uh, certain states in the US have legalised cannabis, and again, that's taxable revenue, which can go forward into the, uh, the coffers of the local area. Uh, and, it, and help develop the local area. Um, Holland has obviously had a few uh, uh, are um, beefing up their laws and coming down a little bit more stricter on the re legislation. At which point they've had enough of the drug tourism. A lot of the locals are getting pissed off because people are only coming there not for the historical sites or to spend money on other things, just to buy drugs for the weekend, get stoned, fuck a prostitute, go home. They're getting bored of it. Um, it's one of the most liberal countries out there, and if they're getting bored of something, you know something's seriously wrong. Uh, I want to hear from um, drug users, ex-addicts like myself, uh, who are going for rehabilitation. I myself am 50-50 at the moment. Uh, at the moment in my area there's a lot of drug-related gangland crime. Uh, we've had a lot of uh, raids uh, in the, in, uh, under, I think it's Operation Falcon it's called. There's a lot of uh, drug-related raids, uh, organised crime-related raids. Uh, there's been a few shootings. There's uh, someone got murdered on the M4, thrown out the back of a fucking Range Rover. So it happens. Um, there's been a lot of uh, nasty undercurrent of of that kind of organised crime in my local area. Uh, it does affect people. Even the non-user get affected um, for various reasons. Your property price goes down, and most middle class people are cunts. I'm sorry to say that, but when like that, selling your house could mean the difference between getting your kids to a better school and bettering your life. Or I've actually lost forty grand and now I'm in debt. I, I think you're going to take that a bit seriously when you come to vote, or when you're looking at your finances. That it's going to take a knock-on effect where you live. People come to the area. It also gives an area bad reputation. Um, so there are pros and cons. Uh, a lot of the newer designer drugs are not plant-based. Now cannabis, cocaine, and heroin all come from poppies, coca plant, and the cannabis family of uh, cannabinoid plants that grow naturally. Yeah. There are some chemicals involved in all three, depending on if they're sprayed, cut, and uh, processed. But they're the three most naturally occurring substances. Uh, and there's cat as well, if you're Somali, and there's a thing called cut, which is similar to cannabis. You just chew it, you get a bit monged. Um, it, it's a little bit, it's kind of more of addictive. Um, so there's a couple of plant-based drugs out there that are naturally grown, that have been used for thousands of years. Yes, they are scheduled substances, as we should call them. Um, and there's various different levels of, of legal standing and status with them. Uh, some of these newer designer drugs uh, will go for LSD and, and ecstasy as the, the ones you really know that were made in the 70s, made more popular in the 70s, 80s and 90s. Um, pure MDMA won't kill you. Uh, pure acid has been used in scientific purposes for research in the 50s for Air Force pilots to stop them blacking out under G-Force. So there are like certain things about that where there has been scientific research done. Uh, if they're in the purest form, they won't necessarily kill you, uh, which is interesting. Um, but the problem is dealers get greedy. They water down the drugs with other stuff. They coat with other stuff, stuff you don't know that's in there. So you don't know what you're taking. And then when dealers get dealy, they don't want to have to get it from another supplier. They're going to shoot you for it. They're going to rob you for it. Uh, at the end of the day, it's a bloody mess. Um, it's been like this for, I would say, 30, 40 years, the drug game. Um, it, a lot of organised criminals gone from gone from bank jobs and from post offices uh, to to the drug game, racketeering, prostitution, all sorts. There's other LinkedIn versions of crime in there. Um, it, it's quite a nasty undercurrent, uh, and a lot of criminals have legitimate businesses as well where they use that as a front. And this, I mean, there was a strip club in Reading. They were selling coke out of the back. Uh, uh, there was a couple of nightclubs where they were selling coke over the bar, basically, literally. Um, they didn't give a fuck. So organised criminals have got into the legitimate side of, of nightlife, and that affects people. Um, there's been um, all sorts going on. Uh, I want to hear your feedback and thoughts on this. Um, uh, 
all walks of life, post your questions below, uh, and I will carry on with this thread uh, the more feedback I get. Thank you for listening.